Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so happy you're here. This is a general reading for the collective about your person, the energy surrounding you and your person of interest, okay? I'll be taking a look at future energies and any actions they're gonna take as well. I'll try and get as much information for you as I possibly can. Uh, like I was saying, it's just a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind today. If it's not resonating with you, please don't worry. Spirit does want to connect with you today, so just check out one of my other readings and you will get the guidance that you need. Right, let's find out what's going on. <laughs> yeah, the answer is yes. So it's like a hell yes. There's a lot of like beautiful energy surrounding you both right now. It feels like this is like all this passion here. It's just like a hell yes to you. They just love your energy. They love the way you look. They love everything about you. Like you are the full package. You're just like, it's a full yes from them. A hell yes. And also like whatever your question is, you know, just like, are they into me? Whatever, the answer is yes. But it's clear about that. We have the card offer. So I feel like your person's gonna be making you some sort of offer. It feels very exciting. Um, it feels like there's a lot, like you're on the cusp of like a really big change in this connection. So I feel like they're gonna be making you a romantic offer, being able to come towards you, right? To reach out to you, right? To ask you out. I feel like this offer is gonna be significant. This is what Spirit is saying. It's gonna be a significant offer right? To come towards you, to ask you out, right? They want to be with you. They want to be spending time with you is what I'm sensing here, right? Let's find out what else is going on here. Feels like there's so much passion in this connection. There's a lot of desire for one another and a lot to pursue, to kind of explore. It feels like uh, the spark has been lit, you know? We have the card boundaries, drawing the line. So maybe that you've had to kind of express your boundaries in this connection, right? And that's a good way of like keeping yourself safe. Very uh, beautiful. It creates sort of like a really lovely framework to have a healthy relationship in there. So I think they recognize that they can't take you for a ride. They, you know, that they're going to have to show up in a way when they make this offer that is serious to you because, you know, you're very much anchored in your own energy. You've got those strong solid boundaries and they respect that so that's good and get the card receptive yeah you're connecting heart to heart you're kind of both receiving messages from one another is what i'm seeing with this you're receiving like little bits and pieces of like energy and messages and like little looks to each other whatever it is they just they know that you're open-hearted they know that you are like just like a beautiful loving person and they see that um, and I feel like they are open in that way as well, but this is why they don't want to cross your boundaries. They just see that there is a vulnerability there. You know, by being open-hearted, you are vulnerable to getting hurt, and this isn't something that they want. So this is someone who's definitely in interested in you. It's a full yes from them. Let's find out what's going on between you and your person. Cancer's energy showing up strongly uh, right now. I feel like they are definitely ready to make a move. I feel like they want to kind of move forward with this. Whatever problems or issues there have been, they are like, they're quite clear thinking, right? They, they're they open to this. Their heart is open to this. They're clear thinking, like they're, they're solutions focused, whatever kind of has been holding them back. And I really see that here. There's been like quite a major block. Something has been holding them back in the past they are overcoming this. There is a solution to this kind of, if it's like a, a stuck energy or if there's been like an actual issue, there is a solution to this. And they're moving forward from this and it's moving out of stagnant energy. What I'm hearing is they're ready now, okay? Your person is ready, you're ready, or like it's time. Divine timing is here, right? Is what I'm saying with this. Let's find out what's been going on with you guys. Yeah, I feel like it just like wasn't the right time for this connection in the past. Like they stopped themselves from making you an offer. I feel like it's because they were in, an, they had unfinished business in another connection is what I'm saying. For some of you, not for all of you is what I'm sensing. And they, it's like they wanted to make you an offer because they have these feelings for you in their heart. They do love you. They have these feelings that are very strong. And it's like almost a love at first sight situation is what I'm sensing. 
It's just like the moment they saw you, they couldn't stop thinking about you. They, and it's like they feel you viscerally. They feel you, you know? They want to make you this offer and they haven't been able to do that. And I feel like for some of them, it's because they were either in a connection or you were in a connection or there was some awkwardness around that. You know, maybe they felt like they weren't able to because you work in, in the same office together and office romances are forbidden, right? Some, that's just an example of how I'm picking up on the energy. I sense that there was a strong block here, like a kind of, it was, it's was. it been a no in the past. It's been like, no. And you're just like, why is this happening? I know this is a thing. I know there is a flirtation here. I know that we're attracted to one another, but they haven't been able to make a move. Could be because they were in a relationship or another connection, or they just had unfinished business. Like they didn't want you to be their rebound person, right? For some of you, okay? But they want to make you this offer and it wasn't the right time to do that. Or it could have just been that they were too busy, they didn't have, they had too much on their plate, too many responsibilities, too much going on, right? They couldn't do it, but they want to, you know, this is their intention. Their intention is to come towards you, to message you, to be with you, to experience you. It's again, this energy of yes. I see Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy showing up here really strongly. Leo's energy as well. Yeah, you're nearly there, okay? If you're just like, oh, I feel like giving up on this. This isn't getting anywhere. You're nearly there, okay? They are 100%, right, taking action towards you. This is what I'm saying. It's in their intention. It's in their energy field, right? They want to come towards you to make you the romantic offer that you have dreamed of right? And you're nearly there with that, okay? There's like one last hurdle to get over, kind of one issue to deal with. It's quite small. I know that you've waited for a long time. They've put up some resistance, you know, maybe you felt like chasing them, but you kind of resisted that, is what I'm seeing. And like your patience will pay off. You are going to be rewarded with this, okay? I feel it's because they had some things that they had to deal with, but they want to come towards you. It's like this full yes energy again. Like they want to come towards you full force. Um, they want to experience you. They want to make, again, this energy that they want to make you an offer, right? Something romantic. They want to ask you out on that date. They want to ask you. Um, let's see. Let's get one of these decks, this one. They want to come towards you with something meaningful, with something romantic. You are so, this is a very deep spiritual connection. You're so bound up together. I love this. Let's find out. Scorpio energy, Libra's energy showing up strongly here. They want to be fair by you is what I'm seeing, right? They don't want to kind of be unfair is what I'm sensing here. They see you as somebody who's kind of marriage material. If you're in that stage in your life, someone who they really want to commit to. I feel like they were in like some other commitment and this could just be a work thing, like some kind of big project or something like this, but it could be, could be romantic. You know, they could have been married or going through a divorce, something like this. I feel like they were in some kind of, kind of commitment and this is why they haven't been able to kind of come towards you. But this is changing now. This is like whatever that commitment was or that responsibility is ending. Um, and they are able, they're tying up those loose ends. They are able to kind of do that. And they didn't come towards you before because they felt like it would have been unfair. Unfair to anybody else who's involved in this connection and unfair in this situation, excuse me, and unfair to you as well. I feel like they're being very measured as well as what I'm getting as well. Like they've, they've shown a lot of restraint and they've been very measured in this. Like I feel like maybe you're in that energy where you just see them and you just kind of don't feel very grounded. You feel a little bit ungrounded when you're around them, but they've like, they're more grounded and they've kind of been quite restrained, quite measured. Um, even though they like fully want to come towards you. Yeah, they're definitely going to message you, right? They're thinking about this all the time. They want this situation to change. Now is the time of this. Um, this connection is going to make like a really, like over the next few weeks, it's really going to transform. It's going to change. They want to like 
uh, try their luck with you is what I'm hearing as well. They want to kind of give this a go, right? To kind of see, get to know you, to kind of see where this goes. They're already invested in you, right? They've already invested their heart in you and they want to kind of see how this can grow, how they can take it further. So they want to move forward with this. So what I'm hearing is that they're free as well. So prior to this, they weren't free to make a move towards you or to pursue this. But now what I'm hearing from spirit is that they are free to pursue this, to move forward with this with you, right? whereas previously they weren't. They want to see where this will take you, okay? So that's what I'm seeing. Let's find out what messages they have for you. Friendship. This friendship is leading to more. So I feel like this is somebody who is in your life, who's like in your group, in your circle, just like uh, an office romance or just someone that you have like a friendship with. I feel like this is someone who really like values you, right? They see your value. They see your worth. They see how special you are, right? They, they, they love getting to know you. Like you, you, they light up when they see you is what I'm hearing. You know, like if they get a message from you or they hear from you or they see you or they even just hear your name mentioned, they just light up, right? So it could be that your friends, or maybe they even put you in the friend zone for a while because they didn't have the bandwidth for it maybe, or it wasn't the right time. You are coming into divine timing with this person. Absolutely. Now is the time for this, definitely. So this friendship, whatever it is that you've got going on with this person is, is gonna develop into something romantic, something that's much deeper. second chance. It says this relationship deserves a second chance. So it may be that this is something that didn't quite get off the ground initially, right? Is what I'm sensing. Or you felt like this is energy where you felt like there was a time for this, right? Where you were both free or where you could have made this happen or you like had an opportunity to be together. And for some reason, due to fear is what I'm sensing. You were like, you passed the opportunity up or like you were just like oh I'm not sure maybe we're just friends or like you would ships that pass in the night and you kind of for some reason didn't get into alignment but now like spirit is opening the door for you to have another opportunity like another chance to kind of make this happen so this is your chance now when they come towards you and they're coming towards you full force you know when they ring make sure you're there to pick up the phone right when they message you message them back okay don't let your fears cloud you don't let your fears hold you back this is your chance and if you don't when they make their move when they shoot their shot if you if you're not ready um or you're triggered into fear of abandonment or fear of rejection or whatever or fear of like what might happen that's it poof it's going to be gone There'll be a tiny window for this to happen and it's going to come towards you and um, you've got to seize it, seize the opportunity when it comes your way, right? Is what I want to say to you. Let's see what messages they have for you. <laughs> I have so much I want to say to you. This is from the Seasons of the Soul Oracle deck. I have so much I want to say to you. You, got, you guys have got a lot to talk about, like a lot to talk about. I really feel like this. It's like you've not, maybe you've kind of just like, it hasn't been appropriate or you've not had the opportunity or something like this, is what I'm seeing. You've just like, not had this opportunity. They want to talk a lot. It's just like, they want to have like one of those conversations where you just talk into the night till like midnight or 1am or something like this. It's like you're really on the same wavelength, you and this person. You're just really on the same wavelength. You see the world like through the same lens. It's like they're of the kind of one mind, I think you could describe it as. You know, you see things the same way. And they respect you a lot. They want to do right by you. They're 100, excuse me, 100% into you. I really like it. I'm still fig figuring it out. So there has been, you know, some issues here that they've been dealing with that they've been struggling with, that they're trying to find solutions for, but I see a lot of positivity here and they will they will figure it out. And I feel like you're gonna figure it out together. They wanna to move forward with this and you're gonna be able to figure it out together. I feel overwhelmed. So yeah, I see that here because the 10 of wands showed up as well. So they have been struggling a little bit with their emotions and kind of knowing what to do and knowing what to do for the best. I feel like their, their emotions kind of really overwhelm them sometimes. 
It's like, it doesn't have to be perfect, right? I think maybe they were kind of laboring under this idea, this limiting belief that they had to be perfect or that the situation had to be perfect or everything had to be perfect and sorted out before you could they could pursue this with you. And I think they're kind of figuring out like, or working out like, look, we can figure this out together. It's not gonna be perfect. It's never gonna be perfect. So let's just give it a go, see what happens, explore this. And we can figure it out together. Facing their fears. This is really good as well. So much positivity. They're coming into that energy of like being able to face up to what it is that's been holding them back. That fear of kind of things not being perfect or things not working out or them not being able to kind of really show up for you in that way. They have this fear that they won't be able to meet your needs or show up for you in the way that you deserve because they know what it is that you deserve and they want to be that person for you. So yeah, they fear letting somebody down, maybe letting you down or somebody else who's in, involved in this. You know, they want to do right by people because I sense that this is a really good person. Mm, you get the card Secret Admirer. So maybe you've had to keep this, um, maybe they feel like they've been keeping this a secret, but you know full well how they feel about you or that there's something about this that has had to uh, be kept under wraps that people haven't known about it. That Maybe you don't talk to it, but... Um, Talk about this person to your friends, right? You've just like, it's been a crush or it's been something that's had to be kept a secret for whatever reason because it would be uh, disapproved of in some way or kind of had to be clandestine because it couldn't be out in the open. So, but you've still always had these feelings for one another and I feel like these feelings are really mutual. So yeah, that's it. That's everything that I have for you in this reading today. Do let me know how it resonates in the comments. It's been my honor to read your cards as always. If you're looking for someone to give you a personal reading, I highly recommend Psychic Source. They're an amazing platform of gifted psychics. They offer the best deal if you are looking for that personal reading, if you want a longer style reading, someone who can really kind of get into all the juicy details and really connect to you, right, and answer all your questions, then Psychic Source offers an amazing deal of just $1 a minute for new customers. So. Uh, I think that's pretty amazing. It's the best deal out there, especially if you want a longer style reading. So do check out Psychic Source. They are linked in the description box below this video. You can get your first reading with them for just a dollar a minute. And the beautiful thing about them is they offer a no quibble satisfaction guarantee. So if you're not happy with the reading that you have received, from Psychic Source, then they will give you another one with the reader of your choice absolutely for free. But remember the rules. Choose someone with a five star rating and lots of experience on the platform, uh, read their reviews and listen to your intuition as well when you are choosing an advisor, all right? But take good care of yourselves. I'm sending you lots of love. I look forward to seeing you again soon. You take care, bye-bye.